What is going on geeky gun guys and gals? Today I have another a very special video for you guys. Wildly requested and a fan favorite of your guys's out of all of my videos. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to throw a knife, no spin. But first, if you're into all things geeky and or gun and or guy, please consider hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. I know some of you guys may be asking yourselves, what qualifies this dingus to teach me how to throw a knife? Well, I like to consider myself somewhat of a knife throwing guru slash professional. Just kidding, and if you already know this channel, I just like to share with you guys shit that I'm into, so. So in my last knife throwing video, I taught you guys how to do a half rotation or multiple rotation. But today I'm going over the no spin. It's not really a no spin, it's more like a 90 degree instead of a... And today we'll be throwing these guys. Schwung! Ace Jets. Wait, one second, there it is. So I found this company uh, on the Instagrams, like I do a lot of the things that I review. And what caught my eye was that they had a no spin throwing knife shaped like one of my favorite, or my favorite knife shape, the Tonto. This is called their Ace Jet Guillotine. Uh, they modeled it after um, the Japanese knife Kiridashi, which means to cut or to carve out. The Japanese back in the day would use this as a carving tool and self-defense as well. But I just love me that Tonto-ish shape. So I bought these very expensive knives. Um, I've known about the company for a while. Uh, just didn't want to pull the trigger. Uh, I was waiting for a sale you know me so I got these when they had a promotion for buy any set of three get one free and I am not proud to say this but the set of three goes for $200 Ugh. Ugh. but when they said they throw in a fourth one for free $50 a piece didn't seem that bad but before we get into the actual knife throwing, um, there's a butt ton of different ways to throw no spin. And the best way that I can explain it is instead of thinking of throwing it like a baseball, it's more like high ally or lacrosse. So high ally is that sport where you have this like big like arch hand and you throw the ball and lacrosse is lacrosse you had a stick with a net and ball in it but why i like to compare it to those sports is because of like the momentum and the feel where your hand is the high lie or lacrosse stick and the knife is like the ball so it's more of like a transferring of momentum than it is throwing i guess and throwing no spin is very instinctive. I can't sit here and tell you this is how you hold it indefinitely and this is how it needs to be. I can only guide you in terms of how to throw no spin, but really you gotta try it to, to understand. So the idea of throwing no spin is holding the knife in one hand and upon release, brushing the spine to stop the rotation of the knife. So when you let go traditionally when throwing half spin, full spin, whatever, your momentum when letting go rotates the knife. But what's stopping that is your index finger on the spine. It's a light brush 
upon release, and it goes from like a 12 o'clock to a 3 o'clock. So it's kind of like a 90 degree spin, but it's essentially no, no spin. So you want to hold the knife in one hand with the butt rather in your palm, high up on the palm underneath the index finger, but you're essentially using four fingers for support and your index on the spine. And like I said before, there are a butt ton of different techniques. There's the Ralph Thorne, which is more of a spear-like throw, drawing the knife back as if in preparation to throw a spear. And there's also the Fedden Wave, also known as Scamp, uh, which is a faster projectile, uh, less setup, and it hinges at the hip. So you're throwing from your side. This one I find easiest at a closer distance. But the best way to throw no spin is honestly making up your own. However, it's most comfortable for you to set up. However, it's most comfortable for you to release. It's very instinctive and whatever feels more comfortable for you. The way that I do it is very similar to the half spin in where I take a step forward with my non-dominant foot as I throw with my dominant hand. And as opposed to the Ralph Thorne spear throw where it's next to your head, I kind of whip mine around overhead and release with a tiny snap at the end. Distance plays a huge role. The further back that you are, the more you're going to have to brush the spine of the knife. If you find that the knife is over rotating and not sticking, that means you didn't push the spine enough. And if it's falling short of rotation, you are brushing too much for the distance that you're at. And just in case you were wondering, yes, you can still half spin with these. And last but not least, the trick shot. And there you have it, the no spin knife throw. I've had a lot of comments in my last knife throwing video in terms of, oh, I don't have a knife throwing wall or how can I practice without making a lot of noise. You can always practice in your house. Full disclaimer, this is very dangerous. You are using sharp objects and you are throwing them. So practice at your own discretion. But you can use anything, a metal letter opener, a steak knife in your house and practice on a cardboard box. And then when you get more confident and you wanna try it outdoors on with a real throwing knife or a cheaper throwing knife and on actual wood, go for it. But just a real quick review on the Ace Jet guillotines. They quickly became my favorite throwing knives and my least favorite throwing knives. Uh, let me explain. The weight, the feel, the length on these, uh, super perfect for throwing knives, but uh, they came from the factory very inconsistently ground. Like the grind work or the sharpening was super crazy inconsistent. As you can see here, the grinding and up to a point is just crazy inconsistent. I think it only came with like one really good pointed no spin throwing knife. And like I said, I got a set of three and a free one. The free one came not ground at all. Zero sharpness, super thick spine, just it coming to a point was kind of a mess. But maybe I got a bad batch. If you don't mind grinding your own knives, check them out. 
Ace Jet. For the would you rather. Would you rather have the finances that you've made in the last year be taken away or your memories? So you rather get to keep your finances or your memories, but only one of the two. Sounds simple enough, but you know, some people had kids or made a lot of money on the stock market in the last year. I don't Let me know down in the comments. And once you're done practicing your no spin, go ahead and use your throwing knives and gingerly tap that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to count your blessings. And most importantly, don't forget, don't be a dick, be a blessing.